is up everybody welcome back to once again another video if you're new here my name is madam morris and in today's video we're going to be going to the crater diamond state park in arkansas i'm probably going to be like a narrator for this video because we went to the crater diamonds in arkansas a week and a half ago so now i'm back in texas but i'm editing the last of the arkansas videos so i hope you enjoy okay good morning everyone i look so awkward right now but I think it's, no, yes, it's day two of Arkansas, and we're about to go to the Crater Diamond, so I'm going to skip to the time lapse of us driving over there, so I hope you enjoy the Crater Diamonds, everyone. <laughs> Just like Dinosaur Valley, it has a little bit of everything. I'm really excited to start digging to hopefully find some diamonds, but I'll be happy with, with whatever we find. The Crater of Diamonds is a 37.5 acre field with endless possibilities of diamonds. So I'm at the Crater of Diamonds in Arkansas right now, and I think we just found a diamond. I'm about to go check to see if it is one. I haven't been able to find one yet. I found some jasper and some calcite and agate. Also some sandstone, but no diamonds yet. I might have just found a diamond, but it might be calcite. I'm about to go check. I just got them both checked and it turns out they're both calcite so we need to go back and find a diamond okay so i went over there to the counter and i asked uh the people what they thought it was like it i said it turned out to be calcite so far i found lots of jasper calcite and lamprite but no diamonds yet so we're gonna keep on looking i got really excited because i found a really big piece of lamprite uh, Lamprite's right here, but then to my surprise, I found an even bigger piece of lamprite, and I have to set the bone down on something to show you this one. And then I found our second piece of lamprite, which is way bigger. It's right here. That's comparison. Lamprite's the blackish looking rocks with yellow dots on it, and I think this is like the biggest piece of lamprite I ever found. It's
I just got done digging in the dirt for a while and I filled up this sifter with a lot of dirt and rocks to hopefully break down and maybe eventually find a diamond doing this. But usually when I've been doing this I've only been finding calcite and other small minerals, but I don't know. I'm just hoping I find a diamond sooner or later. Okay, now I actually have to start sifting all the dirt into this big, I don't know, I'm going to call it a water station. <laughs> I probably just stole the name right off the top of it, but so I'm in the water station right now, sifting all of my dirt and my rocks, hoping to find a diamond. Like I already said, I'll probably most likely find more calcite, but it's worth a try. I'm honestly okay with finding anything, just in general, everything is really cool. The calcite is really tiny. It doesn't really look like a diamond, but it does have a nice little sparkle. Transition, everyone. 
We just finished eating lunch, and now we're at the Little Missouri River that's right behind our cabin. Right now, the, well, <laughs> the water is really, really high. Higher than it was earlier this morning. Come here, bro. It's the morning of day four, and I'm out on the deck with Hero and Sweetie. They're about to get to the bathroom, and after that, we're going to go back down to the Little Missouri River one last time before we leave. We're leaving right after the river. We don't, I don't even know. <laughs> after the river, we're going to take a shower, and then we're going to leave. Leave Arkansas clean to go back to Texas. It's been absolutely a really fun journey here. So we're at the Little Missouri River now for the last time before we leave Arkansas. I just want to point out how amazing the scenery is and how peaceful it is. The birds are chirping. The water is really clear. I know Crystal Beach wasn't clear, but that's an ocean in El Mises River. Look at that. Even the rocks are really pretty. Hopefully there's no snakes in here. I'm not going to go that deep anyways. I just want to hop in. Not hop in physically, but you know what I mean. I just want to experience it, you know? Because this is a go. What? I'm not going to come back here, so I need to soak up every moment. I don't know, the river is just amazing. That tree is really, really tall. I'm not sure how far the river stretches, but it looks amazing. Oh, there I am. Voice over. <laughs> I like to take loss from not steal. Well, I don't know, <laughs> it kind of is stealing. I don't like stealing, that's bad. But I'm just taking a rock for a souvenir, I would say. Souvenir from the Lumisary River. I don't know. The rocks are so nice. We're leaving the cabin right now. It's been so much fun. So I'll see you back in Texas, everyone. And just like that, we're back in Texas. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I hope you really enjoyed this series, and I'll see you all next Saturday. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you <laughs> next Saturday. Have a great rest of your weekend, everyone. I would wave, but I'm holding up the recording device, as we know from last video, and holding the phone in my other hand. But I hope you all have an amazing weekend. Bye, everyone.